Hey, Justin here from KneeRover.com, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Knee Rover Fusion. This will be the same assembly for your Knee Rover Fusion, your Knee Rover Hybrid, or your Knee Rover All Terrain model. All right, to assemble this Fusion, what you'll need is the two front axle bolts here, front tie rod hardware. Should be four washers, a nut, and a bolt. Your knee pad locking pin, your height adjustment knob, Allen wrench, eight millimeter slash 10 millimeter wrench. To assemble your knee pad, you'll need these four longer black bolts and four washers. I went ahead and put the washers on the bolts to speed up assembly. So I'll also come with this little Allen wrench. And then you'll need these four little smaller black bolts and washers and this Allen wrench. All right, so step number one, we're going to install the front axle. To do that, we're just going to line these holes up right here with the front axle. Make sure that these welded on nuts here are pointed towards the bottom. You're gonna take the front axle bolts, stick them in the hole and just screw them in. And you're going to take the provided Allen wrench and just tighten it all up. Make sure you get these really good and snug. Alright, so step number two, we're installing the tie rods. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tie rod bolt, stick it through the tie rod with the square hole. We're going to take a tie rod washer. Put it through the black plate here. And you're gonna take another washer, hold it on there, tie rod. Then you're gonna do washer, washer, and then the nut. Screw that on hand tight and then get your 10 millimeter wrench and tighten it on up. You want to make sure that this is fairly tight, but not over tightened. So I over tightened it there, so I'm going to back it off about half a turn. So step number three is securing the steering column. We're going to take this quick release lever and pull it over. And we're going to release it. You're going to take this lever here and you're going to clamp it over. So step number four is the handlebars. We're going to drop these in here. We're going to take your height adjustment knob. You're going to select your desired height and then you're going to screw the bolt in here. And just make sure you screw it all the way in to secure the handlebars and make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so step number five is going to be assembling your knee pad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get the knee pad assembled. All right, so we got the knee pad here. We're gonna go ahead and get it assembled. If you have a left leg injury, you're gonna go ahead and line it up like this, left, left. If you have a right leg injury, you'll line it up just like this. Today, for this purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do right, right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your bolt, already went ahead and pre-assembled them with the washers. And you're just gonna line it up here. Just screw them all in hand tight, and we'll go through and finish them off with the Allen wrench. And do it just like so. So you're just gonna tighten that up and continue along with the rest of them. We're gonna continue with step number five. We're gonna go ahead and put the knee pad in. We've got it all assembled. You're gonna take the knee pad locking pin and put it in the hole here at your desired height. You're gonna bring it around and secure it there like that. And you're gonna take this quick release lever. You're just gonna clamp it around. 
All right, so step number six, installing your cover here. We're gonna take one side at a time. Just gonna put it on into the correct position in here. Make sure you get these brake handles into the cutouts and just kind of secure it in place. Do the same thing on this side. Get that brake cable in. The next step is we're gonna snap these all in here like that. Front to back. All right, so once you get it all snapped together, we're gonna flip the scooter over here just like this. Put it in this orientation, it makes it a lot easier to get to. All right, so you're gonna take these little small bolts that were in the, the box with the cover. I've already got the washers installed there. I'm just gonna screw them in hand tight. So you'll take the Allen wrench that's provided just screw it in. Make sure you do this all the way around. Just screw all the, the bolts in. Make sure it's good and secure. All right, so that concludes the assembly of your Knee Rover Fusion. And that works for your Fusion Hybrid, Fusion All-Terrain, and the Standard Fusion. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to give us a call at 877-737-9877 or you can email us at help at kneerover.com. And thanks for choosing Knee Rover.